I got many thoughts about Dagenheim. Let's talk about this. First and foremost, we need to establish what Dagenheim is. It's an action isometric roguelite inspired by Hades, where you will be able to pick one of many heroes with different abilities and possibilities, and you will go inside the maps to kill enemies and progress through the chapters to kill powerful bosses. On top of that, you can play this experience with other people because it is a co-op. So this is kind of the, the thing that you can expect from the game. Now let's go dive into those details and I want to share with you some positives, something that I would love to add for the game and you know, because I spent some time with it already. So this game is not available right now to play, but you can wishlist it on the Steam and the official release of the demo will be tomorrow. So tomorrow you can play it yourself. For now, you have just to trust what I have to say. I was fortunate enough to be able to play this game even before it dropped uh, because I was communication with devs and they got me the key and I was able to try it. So, and here I am our thoughts. Let's start with the positives. As I mentioned before a little bit, you have a variety of heroes you can play as. I was for, like able to unlock six characters so far and each of them kind of feel different right or at least it's aiming for different play style for example there is a guy that going for like the hit and run tactic where you have the sword and the gun uh, you can see him on on, on the screen right now <laughs> or you have someone that is focusing more on the pistols that running around shooting enemies and trying to keep the distance or there is like artillery guy that uh, it's really like staying behind the rocks and throwing fireballs over the enemies just just kill them and not get close on the other hand, there is, for example, the guy that was one of my favorites, the big Viking with the axe that really rushing towards them, got a lot of HP and just trying to whack them before he will get killed. So, so variety of the of the characters is there, and the premise, what the dev is going for, that they will be adding those characters, is kind of exciting because each character will bring different flavor. Also, what I really like, and that was the first thing that I saw like when I was playing a tutorial, is the fluidity of the combat. Really, the movement around like those dodges and everything like that, it's really working well. There are a few like zones that, that you would be stuck on right on the map, but other than that, it's really fluid and, and it's more enjoyable like that because if you feel the hurdles, uh, you will not enjoy the action combat, right? But with this one, it doesn't matter if you are melee or you are shooting, the, the fluidity is there and that's really important. Also, what I enjoy is the an amount of enemies uh, there are, like the not classes, but the types. Each type got a different pattern and you have to learn how to go against them, right? And yeah, because they haven't been even demo released, there is quite a lot of them already. And I like that. Keep them coming. Uh, we need a variety and that is just the spice of, of roguelikes to have variety. So that's a good one. Also, what I like as a meta progression that is uh, included right now is the talent system. Because what I don't like on the roguelike when you have something that is giving you like 1% increase or something like that. That's not really fun. But when you have something that is like 20% armor or, or like 15% crit chance or something like that, that's just exciting because, because you feel those, those power-ups. You feel that you are really sustaining more damage. You are doing more damage. So that's really good. I like the talent system. And overall, what I like is like the baseline. Is the premise of the game, what is going for, and what are those building blocks that are already in place right there are things that can be added but if you will have really like shaky like those those baselines everything will collapse but it seems that this got really good premise to be really good and really enjoyable game to play in the future on the other side there are things that i would love devs to improve upon even within the systems that already are in the place there is a system that that you can like if you defeat enemies there there is a chance that the, the, the items will drop right those items you have six possible slots that you can insert those items in and it will give you passive boost one of the other me meta progression system that is in place right now what i 
What I don't like about the system is drop chance of the item is really, really taking a long time to get those items. So increase the drop chance. I think it would be really good. Also, there is a system that you can combine three items into the bigger one, right? Into the like bigger rarity, which is nice. I like that. But the uh, the, the stats that the, the, the items are giving not that like refined or not that like this is game changing. If I will get this, this will open a whole new thing for me, or at least like that, right? That is, for example, if you have a under 30% of HP, you will have like more damage or something like, which is nice, but it's not like unlocking new path to victory. It's just helping you to get there. And I played like for more than 10 hours, like 15 hours, something like that. And I got one green item. So, so the, the, the quantity of items really had to go up because that will improve the, the fluidity of, of the progression, I feel. Because when I compare talents and items, I feel the talents are just much like better. I would rather go invest more money if I know that it's not really kind of like worth it, right? Because if you are not investing a long time through your items, they are really cheap. Oh, those those talents are going up. But still, I have a better like feeling to upgrade my talent than the item. And also, one more thing to say, there is only like two types of the baseline, right? You have three items that giving you attack and three items that giving you HP. I would love for each item, for every kind of item to have even the different baseline. For example, give me armor, give me attack speed, give me something like different things to, to play with. I feel that would be really nice. One more thing that I would love devs to work on, and I feel it's already in the pipeline. I, I don't think that this is like, you know, uh, something new, is the abilities that you are go getting from level ups. They are nice, they are cool, but I feel they are kind of dis like samey because you have different paths. You have like, for example, zap, right? There is a mechanic zap. When you slash uh, enemy, they will get electrocuted, right? And you can upgrade it with, for example, chain lightning that will just apply the ch uh, chain between two enemies. So that's really nice. And there are like five or something like that status effects and each of them kind of go a different way. But it's not really like that because for example, you have like your your left click, right? Your your primary attack. And when you pick, for example, the, the this, this zap ability, that will increase your attack by 3% and you are able to apply this effect which is nice, but next upgrade is like 2% or 3% more, which is not that exciting anymore. That's the one thing. And other thing is that when you are slap, normally the, the primary attack is like more cadence based, right? That you have more attacks per second. So it's better to play something on this like that to apply those stacks. But for example, for special attack, which is your right click, you have the same thing. You have special attack that's giving you like 5% attack increase and also apply the lightning. I would love to see like different kind of mechanics going into this. For example, there is a tomato, right? And tomato is like when you're hitting someone, there is a chance this tomato will drop from the sky like a meteor and will do damage. What I kind of don't like is that there is like several tomatoes, uh, one for a bleed mechanic, one for a lightning mechanic, like for a li one for the agony, like each of the status effects got its own tomato. I would love to see more personality to each status effect. Like, yeah, agony is not dropping tomato, it's just making puddles on the ground or something like that. I would love to see that. And one more thing I would love to add to it, give me more variety how I can get those abilities in, in the match. Because you have 20 chapters or 20 stages. On end of the each stage, you will get one level up, right? One of the choice between three. And that's in total like 19 because that you're going for the boss. And you have five active possibilities, right? Five active abilities that you can pick and five passives. That's just not enough. 19 of those points or 20 of those points is not enough for me to really like go into something. Because for example, if I pick like the, the zapping thing, you can level up the zapping thing, for example, five times. So if I would ha like to have four of those abilities to, the, to like to level five, that's it what I have. I don't have any passives. I don't have any other actives, for example, right? There's still one missing. So I, I can go like 
uh, give me more things to level up or more XP, more variety in how I can get those abilities because I want to have different dash. I want to have like different primary attack and secondary attack and all those other things that are included already in the game. But I would love to have more. Last but not least, only one like small thing. There are like presents on the battlefield that you can destroy and you can get various of perks, right? You can get, for example, damage buff for a short period of time and you can slay your enemies more easy. And there is a one particular thing that is healing, right? That you, you destroy, destroy the present and there is a healing orb. You can pick it up and you will heal yourself, as you can imagine. So that's fine. I like that. I like that a lot. But when you reach like through several stages there is one special stage that you will meet uh, like strawberry and he will give you two choices right two choices to choose from one is healing that will heal you for 15 percent of your max hp right and the second choice is that you can increase your overall damage by five percent to the end of the run those two are incomparable. This is just like day and night. Because the 5% is just always better. 15% is just too low. Because that's like two presents. If I loot two presents is the same amount, or three presents is the same amount, as I will get from this healing, right? So boost this healing or or do something about this. I feel that that would be that would feel much better to get there and have that feeling like, oh, do I want to go for this or that? I almost always, even though I have small amount of HP, I tend to go for the damage and, you know, hoping that I will find some presents on the way. So and now we are getting to the thoughts that I have because I played the game for like 15 hours or so and I experienced the game, like what, what the systems are and so on. I have some thoughts that I would love devs to add to the game. Just, just to be said, I don't know if those things that I will mention are already in the pipeline. They know or they are like working on implementing that and they just sent me the copy of the playtest that is like bare bones kind of. They want to test the base and then put things on top of that. I would say that will be the kind of thing. But let's go through the list of things that I would love to see are added to the game. First and foremost, <laughs> I would love to see more meta progression things. I know that's kind of the thing that you want to add kind of last, but I feel that's something that just keeping players engaged. So a few thoughts on what I would love to add is things that you will add to the map by unlocking them. For example, as I mentioned before, there are presents, right, in, in the map. And you can, you can destroy the present and you will get pickup that will boost your stats or heal you. That could be one of the things that you will unlock in meta progression, but not the last one. I would love, for example, to have something on the ground that you are meeting in those maps, but you can't interact with, right? But if you unlock this, this thing in the meta progression, you will be able to interact with it. For example, you will spend the gold that you are getting on the map and you are able to get to like side dungeon that is elite. When you slay it, you will get something. Or you will like, you know, vault, that, that you will find or treasure goblin or I don't know things that, that will just enhance the game to like moment to moment gameplay in the map, like shrines. You will unlock possibility to find shrines. It's kind of like the presence or, you know, it will give you something else or it will be just shrine sitting on the, in the middle. If you will be near to that, it will give you the boost. If you get out of the range, it will not. Just some interactable things to add and enhance the experience of each map. I think that would be really nice. Also, what I like to see is different variety of the maps. For example, there is almost every time there is like a wave based event, right? That you will spawn, there is pop up a few enemies, they are chasing you, you kill them. And there was another spawn of the enemies, you kill them and you are going for another map. I would love different kind of map, right? For example, I don't know, merchant map that you will be able to spend the gold to get yourself some enhancement and continue onward or the map that is like different kind of event. For example, like capture the point. You are standing inside the point and you have to like charge thing, right? And they are the enemies pouring onto you. And if you are not able to, you will die, right? If you are able to charge the thing, you will complete the map and you can continue forward. I feel those are the things that that's uh, like enhancing the experience because you don't know what to expect. You will go inside the map and you're like, oh, oh my God, this is this map, right? And the more 
the merrier, right? You want the more variety because that's that's in making really cool. Another thing that I would love to add is leveling up your heroes. And I understand it's just not taxing, but when you have, for example, 20 heroes and you want to make sure that you are getting something from the level ups of your heroes, it's just a really big system to add. But for example, just the skin. I feel that just a skin at the beginning or or as as a first thing to do is enough because you you are progressing towards something you want to play your hero because you like him and you are getting something for example that could be like perks right right now it could be uh, that you will for example you will get xp from completing the 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 chapters or or going in and for example if you reach level three you will get thousand gold that will help you unlock something in a meta progression something like that i feel it's a simple but at least something even though i can imagine a bigger system leveling up your heroes also what i'm really missing in the game right now is like unlocking optimization things what do i mean by that it's just simple thing like ban reroll and hold like when you get those abilities right you have the three abilities to choose from as a level up sometimes you just don't feel any of them you are like hey this is not what i'm going for i need boost to my first attack to my primary attack i don't have any and it happened that i reached like a level 15 or or 12 and i didn't get any of those so yeah you can say that you have to play with what you have but i feel that a little bit of the optimization like yeah let let me reroll and try again or or you will have two good options you want both of them give me the option that i will hold this one for a future level up it will be like included in that one as well i feel that would be really nice as a quality of life thing and one of the biggest thing that i would love the devs to add to the game and i feel that would just enhance the gameplay so much from moment to moment are like relics from the slay spot slay the spire or something like that. they have one right there is the one that when you uh, meet the 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 strawberry you can pick the the pills that give you five percent up your damage for the whole run i would love to go crazy for example you slay the elite elite enemy on the way they will drop something that will for example give you another charge of your dash or it will enhance your primary attack so it will just for example if you hit with primary attack you will get the shield oh I don't know, there, there is a, so many things that could be, or triggering by enemies. If you get hit by enemy, every 15 seconds you will like punish them with the, with the blast, or they, you will push them away, or you will resurrect when you die. Or so many options there are in this, this kind of area uh, that would be really nice, because you would collect them. And it could be behind kind of risk and reward thing, because for example, you there will be like a gate that you will open, and you can continue normally, right, for the next chapter, or you will choose one extra chapter, where is the boss, or elite, or, or a powerful enemy, or bigger wave, or something like that. And if you challenge that, you are able to die there, or lose HP, precious HP, uh, but if you overcome that, you will get this relic that will get set you up better, and you will be able, for example, have bigger chance to kill the boss. I feel th this system alone would just enhance the gameplay so much, and get there a lot of variety in, in those things, right? And we'll do it for today. Hope you enjoy this, this summer of the Dagenheim, what, what are the positives and what I would love them to add. But tomorrow is, is the big day. The demo will be released. You can try it yourself and I feel that you should because even though I said that there are things that I would love devs to add to the game, I feel the game is in a really good spot and you will enjoy yourself. If you like kind of this style of the game where you slashing enemies, you improving yourself by a try and error, right? I feel that you will have a blast because I am playing like 15 hours so and I'm still getting back to the game because it, it's good it's good but with more stuff it will be more enjoyable so hopefully more systems will be added more heroes will be added more maps and the cop will be absolute blast so as i said before you can wishlist it you can play tomorrow it's all for me if you want you can check the video on the right side uh, there will be a dagenheim playthrough I, I was streaming the game for like five hours or something
something like that so you can get extended look if you are not decided if you want to play yourself or you can watch the other side when I am talking about Mandragora which is upcoming game that I am absolutely excited for just amazing game so you should check it out overview of the game what you can expect but that's it thank you very much for being thank you for your time and as always stay awesome and I'll see you next time peace